What's going on, you gamers? Today we're back with some more Gotham Knights. What we'll be covering today is going to be your transmog system and your suits in general, helping you to understand the stats and how you can create them. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're back with some more Gotham Knights, we've been at Vigilantean and just making sure the city's as well safe as it can be, but there's a few things that I wanted to cover that's really going to help you out, especially if you learn it early on. So in this game you've got different sets of equipment, obviously you've got your suits, you've got your melee, you've got your ranged, but with your suits how do you change up the transmog? And what exactly is the difference between the transmog style and the actual piece of gear you're wearing? So if I jump over to this right here, if you have a little look, all of your stats are on this piece of equipment. It's going to show you it's uncommon, it's level 13, it will come with a lot of base stats. The higher up, the better. Whenever there's an arrow pointing up with green, it, it in general pretty much means it's better. Lower numbers and when it's in red, generally tends to mean it's worse. Obviously they're different rarities as well, so if you can get heroic and such, that's going to work out in your favour, but they will be superseded by higher level gear. Exactly the same if they've got slots on them, you're going to want to pick them up, because that's going to make the gear much more powerful. More slots, higher level, better gear rarity is going to equal better stats, so they'll be the ones you're aiming for. Also as you can see here, this one has a conditional stat, it's the only one I've seen with this, but it gives me extra XP. Now all of that comes on your normal crafted gear pieces, as well as the fact that you can change up some of its looks. So as you see here, different colour, you can change the cow, you can change the symbol, the gloves and the boots, and put it to whatever your liking is, to proper customise it for yourself. However, up the top here is something completely different. As it says here, apply a transmog. Basically, would you like to apply a skin to that significant piece of gear? You're going to have a lot of these, you're going to be able to unlock them as you play, but how exactly do you unlock them? As you can see here, quite a few of mine are still waiting to be unlocked. Now, one of the best ways is going through your challenges. I'm sure you can unlock some of these throughout the actual campaign and through certain other missions, but challenges are a great way to do them as well. If you have a look here, it's going to tell you you need to craft an Eternium style suit, a Neon Noir suit and a Privateer suit. Also, it gives us that symbol right there, which I now know means you're going to get a new transmog when you complete these tasks. Now that we know that, we can look through other things to see if it's going to give us any as well. For example, this one right here on our collectible challenges. Collecting 60 Batarangs is also going to give us a new transmog. Going to be a bit out of the way, but at least you know you're going to get a nice unlock when you do it. Like I said, you will be able to get these throughout the game as well on certain main campaign missions and such, but even though you now know how to do that, how exactly do you go about crafting them? Again, these do come up in some other missions, but the easiest way I've found is by finding some premeditated crimes, like this one just here. It's going to show you that the reward you get is actually going to be a blueprint for your suits, as shown by the very first variant. It's only a standard white one, so it's not going to be the best, but as far as I'm aware, they can have any style to them, so you could be lucky and get the one you're after. So we're going to bop straight there, and this is just an awesome little fast travel. How this game is getting 4 out of 10, I have no idea. It definitely has its issues, but there's some cool things in this game for sure. But yeah, I'm getting off subject. We've gone there, we've solved the crime, and as you saw, we unlocked a blueprint that we can craft. Or another great way if you've unlocked them can be going to Batman's secret caches. As you can see here, they're very high rarity, going to be some of the best gear you can obtain. We're going to go over to our crafting. We've got 16 different suits that we can craft. The one we got was unfortunately not the one, as you see here, a level 13. And it's over on the right there, the style is New Guard. Definitely not what we're after. However, I knew I was making this video, so I've already got one in place, ready to unlock. So, we're going to unlock it. That's going to complete that challenge. We are going to jump straight back out. As you can see, challenge completed. And if we go back over to our crafting, that's been checked off. It's completely gone, and we've still got the other two to complete. Going back to any of our gear now. Nah, Remember, all of the stats are on the standard piece of gear. We're now making it look pretty. 
we've put that transmog on our piece of gear and whenever we go out on the prowl we're going to be wearing that suit that you can see just there in the player select hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out like i said you'll be able to unlock these as you go and there's a few that i think are tied to later missions as well as a couple early but in general look out for those symbols and you're going to be golden as always full things gaming full things xbox take care i'll see you on the next time